biscuit. I got my barbecue shoes on. Gonna smoke me a bag of brisket. I got my barbecue shoes on. I got my natural case. I got the hogs on the Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're cooking up some junkyard steak, and it's real easy to do. Needless to say, one man's junk is another man's treasure. So today, we've got some steak, and we're going to show you how to do it, junkyard style. What we have here is about eight pounds of round steak. Some call it London broil. You call it what you want, but it's a pretty tough cut of beef. So it's important that you uh, tenderize it. All right? You can do that uh, with a marinade, or you can uh, pound it out real thin. And that's, uh, that's the technique we're going to use here. We're going to take a meat mallet, pound it out, and we're going to uh, put it in a bucket of marinade. And we're going to show you what kind of marinade we're using. Oh, yeah. All right, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is get yourself a pail or a bucket. Because that's where we're going to be marinating these steaks in. All right? Now, you take a meat mallet and you pound it. You pound it real good. And get it real thin. Right? Because the thinner you get it, the less time you're going to need to marinate it. Oh, yeah. Pound it good. Oh yeah, simple enough, right? Now like I said, we're doing about eight pounds of beef steak here. All right, those round steaks have been pounded out. Now, for the marinade. You're gonna need some uh, green onions. Yeah. I've got a couple bunches here of green onions. You can use uh, one full bunch or a couple. Right. Just chop them up coarse. Oh yeah. Gotta have onions in this beef marinade. And you're also going to need some garlic for this marinade. You've got to use a lot of garlic. Right? I'm going to have about maybe 15 or 20 cloves. Because here's a big bucket. You want to use a lot of garlic. Now for this recipe, you're going to need some OJ. We're going to use a gallon of orange juice. Now, of course, you can adjust the quantities for this marinade. If you're not doing eight pounds, eh, you just tweak it. Now, you're going to need about two cups of soy sauce. Here we've got some Worcestershire sauce. You need a full bottle, about 15 ounces. Mm -hmm. 
And you're going to need some honey. And we're going to put about one cup of honey in there. It's going to be nice and sweet. And this here is optional, but a few drops of your favorite hot sauce. And last but not least, we're going to use about a half a cup of veggie oil. And this, of course, will help tenderize this beef as well. Now, our steaks have been pounded out fairly thick, right? So it's going to take a bit of time. You want to maybe do it six, seven, eight hours before, whatever. Now, like I said, if you pound them out real thin, you could get away maybe with a couple hours. Now, after a few hours, take a look at this. Taking on the color of the marinade. Tenderizing. Man, this is good enough to eat already. Oh, yeah. Now while we're waiting, we gotta get ourselves a grill. It just so happens we got one in a pile of junk. But of course, use your favorite grill. <laughs> For us, this one will work just fine. Those junkyard sticks. Good life don't get much better than picking and grilling. Now you want to get yourself a good bed of coals going. Now these steaks, of course, are marinated. So a good hot fire, just what you need. want to give a shout out to our Vegas chapters for giving us this plaque. Man, you smell that? It smells good. Let's grab another one. Must be getting the neighbors hungry. Looks like they're out looking for some vittles themselves. Now, there's nothing like a side of beans to go with this steak, so uh, we're going to heat up a can of beans. Yeah, you think the neighbors uh, got themselves enough chipmunks right now? But, uh, I guess not. We 
real easy to do. And through the miracle of time, I say it's time to eat. Whoa, take a look at that. Whoa, nice and tender. Full of flavor. That's junkyard steak. Now, as always, we do apologize for eating in front of you like this, but uh, we call this Pitmaster Privilege. reasons we're picking is uh, because we want to set up a new grill. This old metal table right here is going to work just right. You're going to have to check this out. So the next time you're looking to turn some of your junk into a treasure, or you're looking for a recipe, you check out barbecuepitboys.com. 